Oh, there's one up there. So, let's go chase him down. No, Tattle, I don't want to listen to you. Did he fall down? He did. Don't you go into that guard office. Last time we did this, he went behind that guard over there. And it's, ugh. What a pain. No, get away from him. No, 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 no. Little cheater. Can I, can I chase him out? There we go. Oh, that's right. Go back to where your friend was. Ah, oh, dang. Let me see if I can lure him into that. Dang! No, not back there. That's right. Hey, Postman. Postman Goron. Dang, this guy's just a pain. Why can't I catch you? Ah! Dang it. If I wasn't using a D-pad. There! Alright, so where is the last guy? Let me think. I think I know where he's. He's probably on the west side. No, don't want to speak to you. Ugh. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yep. Yeah, I know. It's West Clock Town. Thanks. Can we get a move on? Thank you. So, this is the bank. This will be useful later. I guess. So I've been told. Apparently, I, I go back there every now and then to deposit money. Oh, wow. That was easy. Just kind of stood still for me. Well... Okay, so this code is what will get us into the observatory. Can you remember it? 13524. Odds first, even second. That's easy to remember. It's nearly night. Well, I think we made good progress, though. Well, now... Didn't. This is one of the things I don't really like about this, is that it doesn't give me much indication that something's coming up, so I'll press the A button, you know, rapidly, and end up picking an option I didn't want to pick. Oh well. Alright, so, we're on our way to the observatory. Sort of like a micro dungeon. And the clock is ringing. Ah, massive jump. Night of the first day. There's no Skulltula there. No, sir. Easily defeated. And for my effort to get one rupee. Alright. Let's take out this balloon. And break some pots. Buy some nice things in pots. Those pots are kind of soggy. And up we go! There's the observatory. Loads of money! I'll talk to that scarecrow later. First we need to talk to this guy. A lovely camera angle that shows us so much. <sighs> I will gaze into the telescope, as it's very important to do so. Now, first things first. Ooh! Lighthouse. I was right about that. The creepy moon. I just pressed the B button. <sighs> yeah, 
Yes, I seem to continuously mess up which buttons do what. But yes, the creepy moon scares everybody. Let's get another nice shot at that thing. Jeez, seriously. Oh! And here's the end of the world! All civilization has been wiped out. Game over. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to be zooming into. Alright, oh. Moon's tear. That will be important for later, so we need to go grab that. It's right outside here. And there we go. How can something sparkle strangely? Unless it's like a vampire from Twilight. That. Okay, yeah, you're right. You, you, you think it can sparkle strangely. That example alone proves that. Okay, let's see. There's a scarecrow. I'll talk to one later, and you'll see what those guys do. They teach me some important information that I will use later. And, uh... Oh yeah, I also use them, I'll also use them to make time go by faster, because that'll be important. So, we know that Majora, the Skull Kid, or whatever, is on the clock tower, but we can't get there until around the night of the, s the third day. Where am I? Oh, okay. Uh, I'd give you a... I'd give you a tour of the places that uh, I explored when I first did this recording, but I don't think it's that important. Because I'm pretty sure I'll be coming back to many of those locations before, and I didn't really explore them that much anyway, so I don't really know what's, you know, going on with them. Okay. So, we will be using this guy. Oh, wait, I need to equip the moon tier real quick. So let's talk to this guy. Now here's the interesting thing. Actually, I'll explain this later. Oh, never mind, I'll explain this later. So, we get the deed to, the, to this flower, because this flower has a deed. That's, you know, if every flower has a deed, that's just way too much paperwork to think about, man. Huh. <sighs> okay, so we have the flower, so everything is in place for us to continue along with the story. We just have to wait until the night of the third day, and this is the night of the first day, so we're going to have to... That's not the way I want to go. We're going to have to move time a little bit faster. To do that, we're going to have to talk to Scarecrow, who I remember is around here, I think, in this in this place? If I could open the door. No, it's not here. Let's see. Probably in here. Yep, here we go. Hiding in the corner, where I have difficulty seeing him. We will not dance because first you gotta tell me something about him a song to manipulate time. Now here's gonna tell us some important information about that. Play it backwards, you can slow the flow of time. Play each note twice, you can move half a day forward. That's gonna be pretty helpful, I think, in the future. I haven't, haven't uh, used it that much yet, but it does seem like important information to know. So, now we're gonna just dance. We should be able to dance over and over again until the night of the third day. If not so, I'll just. Uh, go to the observatory, Scarecrow. Yes. Wonderful dancing sequence. Dawn of the second day. Glorious. Oh, good. He's still full of energy. No, 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 no. I wanted to say yes. I can't wait to go through this that dancing sequence again. Maybe I can skip it. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I can. So we get to watch it again. 
Woohoo!